Okay, welcome back. Um, today, in this video, I am going to uh, start the wind process, so the wind process for our wind volume, okay? And basically, what we're going to do is, in this part of the video, we're going to get everything all set up, and then in the next video, we'll do the blueprints, because this is quite a long process. There's uh, quite a few um, different levels and functions we got to write into this uh, for each of the blueprints that we're going to use. So it's not going to be something that's going to be quick. And we're also going to make two uh, just real quick uh, small levels so that we can test it out. Because the whole point of this is we're going to do a check and make sure that we've got all the collectibles picked up. And then if we do, we'll move on to the next level. If we don't, we're going to punish the player by making them start that level, same level that they're on back over again. And make them try again, basically. And then we're also going to do a check, is it the last level? Did you beat all these other levels and this is the last one? If it did, then the game will end, okay? So a lot of this, a lot of involved in this, and it's going to be time consuming. I'm trying to keep these videos around 15 minutes. Um, unfortunately, that other video for the blueprints may take a little bit longer, but hopefully not, especially if we get everything set up in this video. So let me go ahead, and uh, for those of you that are just jumping in right now and wanting to know what's going on, you can check out this video series back here on Putting on the Fritz 3D Visualization. This is the Rollerball um, game. We're going to make a Rollerball game in Unreal Engine 5. So you can check that out. Go back to where you need to go to to get caught up. And um, if you like what you see, subscribe and like the videos. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, kind of let me do a real quick uh, demonstration of what we're doing here. Okay, so again, I'm going to bring in my demo game. Okay, and I've kind of repositioned some things to make this a little quicker, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So here's my player, and right now I only have three coins, okay? So if I pick up just the one coin, and I go into the wind volume over here, which is this portal looking thing, okay? And I didn't pick them all up, it punishes me, I have to go back to the very beginning. If I pick them all up... Whoop, missed it. If I pick them all up and go into the volume, it advances me to the next level. This is level two, and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to make uh, two additional real simple levels, and uh, just so you understand the process so that you can uh, do it yourself. And then, of course, each one of these, since there are no coins on here, the wind volume is going to check to see if there's any coins, and it'll send me to the next level. Okay, and this is level three. So we're just going to make a couple real simple levels like this and uh, kind of get us all started out there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on setting up the blueprint and, and a few other things to get us uh, all ready to go for making the actual functionality in the game. All right, so back here in our current game, um, I'm just going to pick a spot for uh, me to have my wind volume in my test, test map here. And I'm going to grab place actors. I'm going to go to the cube shapes here. I'm just going to grab a cube. Pull it out. I'm going to make it look uh, like that one I just had. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that corner there, lift it up, make it look like it's a big flat portal or something. And then here in the basic shapes, I'm going to right click up here in the search assets. I'm just all I did was I applied a uh, material for water. There's an ocean one and a lake one. Um, I think I used the lake one on that last one. Yeah, it kind of has this kind of cool looking effect I think uh, sort of like a portal look to it now you can obviously do have this however you want but I'm just making this something nice and quick and easy to do and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create our wind volume right here in front of it okay so let's go ahead and uh, get that piece of it set up so let's go back into our content drawer down here we're going to go back into our blueprints and um, for our blueprints into our triggers and then I'm going to right click right here I'm going to make a new blueprint class this is also an actor okay and this is going to be called BP um, win yeah I'll call it wind volume okay with an N there we go wind volume all right so now we've got uh, got that all set up I should have opened it before I moved off of it. Let's double click on it and open it up. 
Okay, so a couple things we're gonna need. We're gonna leave the default scene route so that we can see it and we wanna be able to move it around. It won't be totally invisible um, in our um, game asset mode, in our development mode. But we are going to go ahead and we're going to add another box trigger right here, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and click add and I'm gonna type in box, okay? And I'm gonna get a box collision and we'll just call this the um, win volume okay and that's pretty much all I've done for uh, to it the uh, there aren't anything we there's nothing we need to really do with the colliders at this point um, because we are going to overlap with it it's overlap all dynamic that'll be fine all right so now let's go ahead and uh, compile save this and let's see what else do we need to do here um, I felt like there was a few more things that we're going to need to do to get this all set up, but we kind of got that done pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get started on the blueprints then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go into the event graph right here. And again, this is going to be another um, event actor begin overlap. So we're going to want to grab this one. I'm just pulled off to the side. And much like we did with the last volume, uh, we're going to need to check to see if this is our player that's entering that volume. So we're going to get uh, player pawn. Okay. And again, we're going to pull out from here. We're going to hit the equals button to do an, a check to see if it's equal. Make sure that it is indeed this player. And we're going to pull out from here. We're going to get another branch. Okay. Okay. And if this is indeed true, if it is our player, then coming out from there, we're going to get another branch. Okay, and in this one, we're going to have to write a function to check for our condition, and we'll come back to that. But we'll finish up the top piece of this, and um, then we'll probably call it quits for this video. All right, so um, from the top up here, we're going to pull out from true. And just like last time, we're going to get current level name, okay? And what this is about is this is the branch. So basically, we're checking to see if it's our player. It is. And then we're going to check to see if we have all the collectibles. And we're going to have to write that function. Um, if we... Um, basically have any collectibles remaining. So we're going to check to see if we have any remaining. And if it's true that we have some remaining, then we're going to punish the character, the player, and make them go back. And that's what this is right here. So these are all ones that are presets already in Unreal Engine. We don't have to uh, write anything for these. And then we're going to get that open level by name, and we're going to open that level up. We're going to get the level name, and we're going to open it up by name, and we're going to basically restart the game at that level okay now for false we're going to have to um, also write out so basically if there are no and it's the wrong spot if there are no um, collectibles remaining then we've completed the level and we're going to um, move to the next level but we have to do some programming uh, and write some more blueprints for that to happen so let's go ahead and compile this and save it for right now okay what we can do is um, we can yeah, we can't even really test this. Um, I was saying we we're going to test it, but we actually have to be able to go out and get the see if there's any collectibles left. We can't do that right now. So the other thing we can do, and that's what I wanted to do, that's it. We're going to go back to our level one here. Now we got that started. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a couple new levels. So in our content drawer, we're going to go to our content. And pause for a second. Okay, so once we're here, we're going to check um, and we're going to go into our maps and we have level one built right here and it's level underscore one, okay? Eventually, we're going to rename this level to demo or something like that and we'll make a new level one. But right now, um, this, is our, this is kind of our play field. We're going to leave it the way it is. But we are going to make two new levels. So we're going to go up here to file we're going to um, open new level, 
So we're going to create a new level up at the very top. New level. We're going to do another basic one. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit create. And we're going to save the one we have open already because we forgot to save it. And that's okay. Save selected. And now we have this big empty level up here, okay? So what I'm going to do is so that I know that this is level 2, I'm going to go file. Save current as. I'm going to make sure that it goes into my maps folder. Okay? And I'm going to name it level 2, exactly the same way I have this one named. So level underscore 2. And this is important because we're going to have to know what the, these names are later on when we write the array. Okay? And to make sure I know that this is level 2, I'm going to pull two cubes out here in the middle. Just like that. So I know that this is level 2 for now. Later on, we'll build it out. And it'll be an actual level. All right. So from here, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go ahead and build one more new level. I'm going to go new level again. Another basic. We're going to hit create. I'm going to pull out three cubes. So we know that this is level 3. You can arrange them however you want. I am using these cubes also besides to, to name them so we know that this is level three but here in the center is where I'm going to place the uh, the wind volume for each one so we can test the wind volume function all right and then we're going to save this one so save current level as and we're going to name it exactly the same convention so it's going to be level underscore three okay and now we have everything all saved okay and we can go back to our content drawer and back to level one just like this and it'll open up level one all right so that is it for this video we got everything kind of pre-staged and set up we even started our blueprint a little bit for our wind volume up here and um, in the next video we'll write out the functionality that comes into this branch right here to do the check and also to make the determination of where we need to go all right so again Thanks for uh, watching. If you have any questions, um, please put them down in the comments section. I will get back to you and answer them. And if uh, you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'll see you next time.